Well, stocks have been fluctuating between gains and losses, but financials have been lower all morning long. Let's get a check of what's dragging them down. Bloomberg Zara Burton is tracking the group. Zara, is this all because of AIG? Well, Mark, AIG definitely a big factor here. Biggest drag on the financials index. Losses right now, as you can see, roughly 9% to the downside. And it's not because of earnings necessarily in terms of their profit. In fact, the company actually is still making money. And this we've seen for the second straight quarter. Remember, last Last year's third quarter, you were talking about losses of $24.5 billion, so the fact that they were actually making money, that's considered a plus. However, the issue is sales. Sales of its two main businesses, we're talking about property casualty and life insurance, they are falling. And a couple of reasons. One, they're losing customers to competitors. Two, the existing customers, the ones that are there, are actually scaling back on coverage because of the recession. And three, the insurance rates in the industry overall, they're falling, and AIG still has to compete with that. So their sales overall are coming down. Now, one analyst over Robert Haynes, he's with Credit Science, he was saying, you know what, trends of the underlying business, they're actually more important than the $455 million that they reported in quarterly profits this year because the company is trying to sell some of its businesses to really repay a lot of those loans that they got from the government. We're talking about that still $182 billion bailout from the government. Now, the stock, remember, back in this summer, like early July, thereabouts, 430% in a matter of weeks over the summer, in part because of some comments by the CEO that taxpayer money would be paid back. And you can see that the stock is actually off those highs. We're talking about 30% off since the end of August. And you're seeing Fannie Mae stock right now. This is another bailout candidate, Fannie Mae, off 8% or 7% in the session right now. You remember yesterday it had this net loss that it reported of almost $19 billion and still being affected by real estate losses. More importantly, what it's saying today is that it's going to need to draw down another $15 billion from its emerging to emergency $200 billion lifeline with the government. And that's going to bring the total drawdown to about $60 billion. So guys, definitely not moving in the right direction for the likes of Fannie Mae. Bizarre, but the financials are pairing their losses. Why is that? Yeah, the overall index last time I checked was, in fact, just down about 0.4%. It had been off about 1%. And even though AIG is lower, it's actually the other insurers that are trying to limit a lot of declines. And what you're looking at here are gains for the likes of Travelers, gains for Excel Capital and Lincoln National. Goldman Sachs analysts is actually saying to investors, you know what, go out, buy both of these stocks. They upgraded to the stocks. And, of course, Lincoln National kind of getting a boost from that, 3.5% to the upside. Now, Goldman saying that insurers with strong balance sheets and large capital management programs are actually going to be outperforming over the next year, even though they've had a great run, guys. Bloomberg's Zara Burton joining us. Zara, thanks.